damn synths are worse than rodents. Kill one and two more take its place. If the synths know we're here, the whole institute knows we're here. I don't know how these things get around so fast. Don't underestimate institute synths. They're lethal killing machines. Institute synths carry some valuable tech. Don't leave anything behind. Awful lot of effort to build something that dies just like a person. Tinker records every place we find the early gen synths. He says it'll reveal the Institute's master plan. Yeah, right. More synths. Great. EMP works well against synths. Well, the early models. I understand why Glory hates wasting Gen 1s and 2s. A very fuzzy line. I'm all right if we have to take out the Gen 1s and 2s. Barely, but all right. Institute treats synths like tools, tossed away without a thought. Wish we could just make these things see reason. Goodness, do I really look as bad as these models? I never did understand why the hell they programmed us to feel pain. The Institute sure gives its lackeys some serious firepower. Nick's the only synth I've met that didn't seem to have a screw loose. Wonder if that's why they got rid of him. Wonder what the Institute's looking for in a place like this. Sure, the Institute made these things killing machines, but they're still killing machines. If the Institute and its synths think we're going down without a fight, they're in for a damn big surprise. I hope this leads somewhere. I'm getting bored. Careful. Synths are bristling with Institute tech. No telling what they might have up their sleeve. Spare robot parts are worth their weight in gold. I'm just saying. Wonders of science, eh? Slag the same as robots if you ask me. Mindless lunatics. Where's the off switch? Abominations. A lot of them. There's something unnerving about synths. You never know if one's going to spring to life. Careful not to trip over any loose parts, sir. I almost feel sorry for synths. Institute fodder, really. But try to kill me, and I'm afraid sympathy goes right out the window. The Institute sure is frivolous with their toys. Imagine the good these synths could do if only programmed with the inclination. Madame Fowler posited the idea that robotic evolution could surpass that of their creators. The scenes prove this quite neatly. Ah, oh, to talk with the Institute would be a dream. So many marvels they have created. Do scenes have a psychology? Or are they merely sophisticated machines? Oh, I dislike the idea of destroying such works of engineering and science. What a technological marvel these scenes are! Why can't the Institute just leave us alone? One of these days, we're going to have to put a stop to the Institute. It's uncanny. They're not robots, but not exactly human either. I wish I knew what the Institute really wanted up here. Talk about science run amok. Hmm. Usually aren't so aggressive. I hate the idea of Institute tech in the hands of surface dwellers. What a waste. Some of the older model synths were built over a century ago. I should get a team up here to retrieve these units. The Gen 1 synths you see out here are usually part of a work crew that got hit by raiders. The synths won't see us as a threat. Their programming prevents it. Why fight false men? Can't eat them. Institute fighters. Strong will destroy you! Super mutants smash all false men. False men should fear strong. Robot try to be humans, stupid robots. Since blow them back to hell. Institute toasters, detect this. 
Let's dance, Rust Bucket. Killing these old synths always... Well, if we gotta do it, Glory's going to lecture me when I get home. Sorry, pal. Sorry, friends. Don't start what you can't finish. Hate to put you down. Institute scrap heaps. I'm gonna rip out your goddamn battery. Melt them down to slag. Robco did not make robots such as this. The technology to make this incredible. The super mutants didn't just fall out of the ugly tree. They were dropped on it from low orbit. Heard that super mutants like to take prisoners. Don't even want to know what happens to them. These mutants don't scare me. Been fighting them since I was a kid. I've seen a super mutant rip the limbs off someone while they're still alive. Never going to get that image out of my head. Super mutants are brutal bastards. Rather eat my own gun than get captured by them. I heard someone made super mutants in a lab and released them into the wastes. I'd like to hurt that person. Guess we can't all win out in the looks department, now can we? I'd be mad too if I was that ugly. Can you imagine what the Commonwealth would look like if these things had any brains? Something I always wondered about mutants. What's with the bags of meat? What the hell's the use of a meat bag? Where the hell do these things keep coming from? Oh, I've never been a fan of mutant hospitality. These things keep us trapped behind our high walls. So who really rules the Commonwealth? Luckily, these things have all the sense of a sack of doorknobs. I've heard rumors of humans and mutants living together out west. I assume it's a master-slave sort of thing. I wonder who's boss. You heard of F.E.V.? Apparently it's what makes mutants so damn tough. And ugly. Imagine what the Commonwealth would look like if mutants were on our side. Why isn't the Institute figuring that out? You know, I think super mutants are smarter than anyone gives them credit for. Lucky for us, they're about as organized as a good neighbor parade route. You know mutants take prisoners. I can't imagine a death that's worse than that. Never seen a female super mutant before, and you know what? Never want to. Muties are short in the brain department. Piece of cake run in circles around them. I can't believe these things were human once. Bunch of unlucky bastards. These brutes are like a science experiment gone wrong. Super mutants pack serious firepower, so expect the worst and keep your stim packs ready. Super mutants are slow and stupid creatures. Easy pickings for the likes of us. Where are these things coming from? We cut one down and another takes its place. It's endless. I don't care if they were humans once. Super mutants are freaks of nature and they need to be killed. To think that these creatures were once human makes me sick to my stomach. These creatures use FEV to make more of their own kind. Disgusting. We thinkers in oversized noggins. Not often a recipe for civility. Not sure it's entirely safe here, sir. Super mutants indiscriminately smash things they don't understand. Battling super mutants is no milk run, to be sure. But I suppose it is a bit exciting now, isn't it? Keep eyes peeled for brutes, sir. A troubling thought to remember that super mutants were created on purpose. If the FEV virus mutates and becomes airborne, then all the surviving humans would be at risk. If I found a peaceful super mutant, I have many questions about their condition. Their pain tolerances, do they get illnesses, longevity, oh, so many questions. It is a shame these super mutants force us to dispatch them. The curious case of FEV virus, does anyone know its origins? I believe super mutants must be sterile, otherwise surely they would be found in even greater numbers.
I wish I knew where these damn super mutants were coming from. Super mutants are even worse than raiders. They can't be reasoned with or bought off, just killed. They don't come much uglier than that. I don't like killing, but I make an exception for super mutants. You really believe those things were once human? I don't care how big these things get. A few shots to the head, and they'll drop like everything else. Would it kill these things to bathe once in a while? Super mutants aren't bright, but they're smart enough to call for backup. No need to take these guys head on if we can slip past them. Sure, they're brutes, but super mutants have some vulnerable spots you can exploit. We should go. Super mutants need milk of human kindness. Strong's brothers fight well. Good warriors. Strong angry at human. Human makes strong kill brothers. Strong smash. Strong hate fighting brothers. Here comes big, dumb, and ugly. Gonna drop you, green boy. Take this, you ugly bastard. Freak to freak, you're done for. Time for a super mutant showdown. Let's see how many headshots you take, mutie. We're nobody's dinner tonight. Someone's gonna have to dig you one big hole. These are the super mutants? <laughs> Feel bad for the mediocre ones. Appreciate the big target. Not exactly tacticians, are they? We got mutants! And they look mad! Of course they always look mad! Bye-bye, big guy! I guess they're not looking to negotiate! Hope you like them big and dumb! Green-skinned freak! Gonna put a bullet through your head, mutant! I'm gonna wipe you from the face of the earth! Exterminate the mutants! No mercy! Godless bastard, to hell with you! Exterminate the heathens! Ah, the FEV virus. There were rumors of this. And they maintain brain functions and motor control even after the FEV? Fascinating. What changes the super mutants? Surely it is not contagious? I can't believe that thing was ever human. You're an ugly one, aren't you? Keep it at long range. Always loved a challenge. Now that's a whole lot of ugly. Oh, boy. Because super mutants needed a giant bigger brother. Uh, you got this one, right? Now I know what a gnat feels like. Oh, my God. Behemoth! Wow. Someone's been eating their cram. Okay, this is gonna hurt. No mercy. Blow its goddamn head off. Holy hell, look at the size of that thing. You want to stop a robot in its tracks? Yank out its fusion battery. Heard there were pre-war robots that are still running. Now that's impressive. Salvage whatever you can from these things. You know why robots are so dangerous? Because they won't give up until they're destroyed. Aren't the most cunning foes, but robots sure can knock the stuffing out of ya. Battery-operated nuisances, you ask me. Usually some decent caps to be made from scrap bots. Never did understand how these buckets survived the apocalypse. It takes a lot of clips to waste these tin cans. Boston had a thriving tech industry, which means we get a double helping of robots. You should see what Tinker Tom can do with a robot. It's pretty amazing. Thanks for all those wacky old world robots, pal. Just... thanks. You can make some decent caps salvaging robots. Uh, the difference between robots and synths? Well, we're... we're prettier to start with. And parts from robots don't usually fit synths. Trust me, I've tried. Probably some real caps to be made from all this scrap. Careful, some of these bots pack a real punch. You can usually still get some pretty nice parts off of these old models. Just don't let them smell your fear blue. Oh no, no, that's dogs. Can't believe these things still operate. Nick explained the difference between synths and robots to me once. Suffice it to say, it didn't make thrilling news.
When we were kids, we used to steal my dad's pistol, shoot the combat inhibitors off a couple bots, and steer them through town. Ah, oh, geez, that was fun. Robots. Damn. Was hoping to spill a little blood. Don't worry about it. I'll tear the circuits right out of these things. Damn mechanized pieces of garbage. Fighting a robot's no better than punching a trash can. The parts in these robots are worth their weight in gold. As long as a robot does what it's told, I have no problem with it. Robots aren't much of a challenge. They're so predictable. I'm amazed how many pre-war robots are still functioning after all these years. The main problem with fighting robots, they never know when to surrender. Robots in the area, sir. Best be careful in case they aren't happy to see us. Don't blame them, sir. Some robots can't think for themselves. It's rather sad, really. Why humans ever programmed their creations to kill their makers, I'll never know. There's just no accounting for poor programming, I'm afraid. Careful, sir. No telling hostile programming from friendly, I'm sad to say. Not from a distance, anyway. Are any other Miss Nannies about? Before I was modified, this was my original model, you know. Robots have proven quite adaptable, yes? And even the robots have the itchy trigger fingers. What bad manners. I sometimes wish that Robco made its robots a little less deadly. Are there more robots left than man? Sometimes it feels like such. Watch yourself. Some of these bots can be pretty tough. Maybe we can salvage something useful from these robots. You'd think people would know better than to build machines they can't control. Man, I hate fighting robots. You can scare off raiders, but not these things. Amazing to think these old robots are still running after all this time. So this is what passes for technology in the Commonwealth. These machines are so outdated, it's almost funny. Sometimes you can sell robot parts to junk vendors for extra caps. The Institute has left these things way behind. Some of these old bots pack some serious firepower. Strong smash robots! Why fight robots? Can't eat steel. Humans make robots, stupid humans. Strong hate robots. Robots are to fight. Damn freak bot! Hey there, beautiful. Oh shit! Assaultron! Goddamn robots. Tough sons of bitches. These gals pack a wallop. I guess asking for a date's out of the question at this point. That is one angry metal lady. Who built shite like this? Don't let this thing get close. Oh, come on. We're fighting one of these? For... Going off the air. They even built them to look like targets. Give a bowling ball an attitude and you get an iBot. Waste a good circus. Commonwealth had enough pests already. Someone really had to make more? Imagine using these things for news instead of just target practice. Shut up, you floating pile of shite! Ha! This'll be like swatting a gnat! This is hardly worth our time. Aye, but threat assessment minimal. And even the little eyebots fight here. So strange. These things are faster than they look. Come on, you floating junk pile! Well, ain't that cute. It wants to dance. This bot's got a bad attitude. The butler's going down. Time to terminate you. Jolly good and all that, hip hip. Prefer I'm armed with feather dusters. Robo butler on the warpath. <laughs> Took one too many orders. I'm Handy, destroyer of worlds. Whose bright idea was it to arm the gardener? Why's a butler need a firearm? Rich people were weird in your time too, huh? Run away, butler bot! Come on, you floating pile of garbage! I may be able to collect replacement parts. This Mr. Andy is obviously defective. We should consult a repairman. This one's gone haywire. What I'd ever do to you, robot? Pile of junk? Melt the son of a gun! 
pop their power source, they drop like flies. Who lets you out of your tube? A Protectron. They're not so bad. Time to slag another bot. And not even worth wasting a pulse weapon on. Just aim for the combat inhibitor and watch the fireworks. Slow and stupid loses the race. A standard model Protectron. Very dangerous. It's too bad we can't get this on our side. Shoot out the treads! Damn, where's a pulse grenade when you need it? That's a lot of bot. EMP him if you got him. Sentry bots are dangerous. Sentry bot, be on your toes. Overweight buckets of slag. Sentry bot! Pulse, explosives, just hit it hard! Find some cover! It's packing some serious shite! Combat reports of sentry bots is most alarming. Careful! These things mean business! Tear ya down myself! Hey you! How do you taunt a turret? Your mother was a pea shooter! See? I got nothing. Chin off the floor! Turrets! My hot plate's on the fritz, but that damn turret still works after 200 years! Remember, turrets can be quite hazardous. Don't bother reasoning with a raider. A bullet between the eyes is all they understand. Let's just dust these idiots and be done with the place. These morons steal anything that isn't nailed down. Like rats instead of men. There's no doubt about it. Raiders are the scum of the Commonwealth. It's a pleasure to kill these guys. Damn scavengers. Most raiders got more guts than brains. Don't keep either for long. Desperate folks making bad decisions. Gotta be a rough life. You don't see many old raiders. They think those outfits make them look tough? Looks to me like they got dressed in the dark. Think I prefer these bots when they're serving drinks. Anytime you want to take on more raiders, I'm in. Raiders, raiders, and yet more damned raiders. I know those raiders can seem like idiots, but you should see their handiwork. We've done some good clearing them out. Goddamn raiders. If there's one thing the Minutemen did that I was okay with, it's curbing the damn raiders. The lowest level of hell is reserved for raiders. And liars. Uh-oh. I almost feel bad for them. Almost. Folks who show no mercy, get no mercy. Psychopaths and drug addicts. Take whatever you can carry. Not worth it falling into the wrong hands again. Who'd choose a life like this? What kind of a whack job would choose this life? I don't like having to kill anyone. But for raiders, I'll almost make an exception. Raiders. Humanity at its absolute worst. Wish we could just put these jerks and the super mutants in a cage and let them ruin each other's day instead of all of ours. Death claws, ferals, even bots. They don't know what they're doing. But raiders, they choose to be this cruel. These idiots again. Good. I was hoping to get in some target practice. Nothing makes me happier than stomping a bunch of raiders. Raiders, eh? Bunch of knobs, if you ask me. Where do these fools come from? They seem to multiply like vermin. The Commonwealth will never be safe with these idiots running around. The Brotherhood's been dealing with this rabble ever since we set foot on Commonwealth soil. Raiders care only for themselves. There's no honor among them. Raiders are no better than a pack of wild dogs fighting over scraps of meat. These nutters are completely off their rockers. Point me at the next raider you see. I'll take out the rubbish. Bloody beastly raiders. Bloody psychotic gits. Oh, if you'll pardon my French, sir. Be on the lookout for psychopaths, sir. The raiders have no respect for personal property. Does anyone up here engage in civilized discourse? Ah, oh, I suppose raiders are technically still homo sapiens. I feel no remorse for terminating raiders. They offend me. Oh, these raiders are quite a problem. I guess these raiders think it's easier to just take what you want than it is to work for it. What these raiders don't understand 
is that life's hard enough without people turning on each other. Stealing people's food and water? Man, I've got no sympathy for someone who does that. I try to see the best in people, but these low-life bandits make it difficult. You know what I mean? Damn raiders! Preying on the hard-working people of the Commonwealth is about as low as you can get. If they were smart, these raiders would run. Let's teach these lowlifes a lesson, sir. Raiders. Sloppy tactics, unreliable gear, and drunk half the time. Not much of a challenge. These aren't people. They're parasites. I don't mind telling you, sir. Any day I get to air out some raiders is a good day. Strong smash, puny human raiders. Strong can kill three raiders one blow. Raiders like war paint hide ugly faces. Maybe these humans have milk of human kindness. These humans weak. Doesn't get much crazier than these jokers. Killing these morons is doing the Commonwealth a favor. So nice of them to paint that bullseye on their heads. Can't believe I was stupid enough to run with these idiots. What was I thinking joining these clowns? I'll give them this. Fighting gunners is rarely dull. Not a lot of folks make me question good neighbors' open-door policy, but gunners. These guys have some serious weaponry. Lots of caps to be made from a gunner camp. Gunners. All firepower, no finesse. Always thought those letters on their foreheads was how much of the alphabet they'd learned. Gunners give mercs a bad name, and that's saying something. Gunners have had bounties on me. Well, me under different names and faces. I want to see how many slots I can fill on their most wanted list. Gunners are one step above raiders in my book. Don't underestimate the gunners. Who's pulling the gunner's strings? No one knows. Bet these dolts weren't expecting to get wiped up by the likes of us. Uh, gunners pack more bullets than brain shells. Though they do pack a lot of bullets. Safest way to deal with gunners? A rifle and distance. You kill a gunner, or they kill you. If they were willing to see reason, they wouldn't have joined the gunners. Gunners pack a punch, but they're not coordinated. They're like super mutants. Without the charm. Gunners are all based out of the GNN building downtown. What a waste of a newsroom. Gotta have some serious issues to think an organization requiring facial tattoos is the place for you. Gunners. All the combat training of the Brotherhood of Steel. All the moral character of your neighborhood bully. Oh, story idea. I get a tattoo on my forehead and cop a bad attitude. Gunners undercover. Would probably actually move some papers. Gunners. I hate these guys. Remember. Gunners don't take prisoners, so give it everything you've got. Tattooed cretins. First there's trash, then there's the gunners. Easy to remember, eh? Mixed it up with these knobs before. Not exactly the please and thank you types. Remember, gunners can't be reasoned with, and they don't surrender. These fools are nothing but cold-blooded murderers. If you have a gunner in your sights, pull the trigger. They won't hesitate to do the same to you. Gunners are extremely dangerous. Kill on sight. The tattoos on their heads make for a nice bullseye. Are they called gunners because they fancy guns? Seems a smidge obvious. Gunners. Little more than murderous thugs in my book. Gunners must make a healthy sum for all their murdering. I dare say gunners are scant more than raiders with shinier toys. Eyes out, sir. This may be gunner territory. I would stay clear of the gunners. They seem a most sorry bunch. Gunners. Common mercenaries. Of little interest to science. I do not like the gunners. They have no thirst for science. Why are these gunners in prison? These gunners should be careful. Some of their actions, I think, are illegal. Cold-blooded murdering bastards. Gunners don't deserve mercy from us. I'll be happy to help you kill some more of those gunner bastards. Just point me to them. We should wipe out every last one of those gunner bastards.
I still owe those bastards for what they did to Quincy. These guys are vermin. The lowest of the low. I've heard stories about what gunners do to their prisoners. Yeah, you don't want to know. Gunners. They're all the things I hate about the Commonwealth, rolled into one. The best-armed gunners are usually the leaders. Watch out for them. Shoot to kill, sir. You can't reason with gunners. Strong smash, puny human gunners. Gunners good fighters. These humans worthy foes. Maybe these humans have milk of kindness. These humans use tough armor. Those whirlybirds are pretty damn impressive. Wish we had one of those. What I wouldn't give for my own suit of power armor. The Capital Wasteland used to be crawling with these guys. Unless you like taking a laser shot to the head, don't tick off a Brotherhood soldier. With the Brotherhood here, you can be sure that the Commonwealth will turn into a war zone. Brotherhood ain't real fond of ghouls. Of course, the feeling's mutual. Ghouls, synths, super mutants. Brotherhood had its way. They'd put us all down. Well, looks like a lowly mortal took out one of the Brotherhood. I'm waiting for that bolt of lightning to hit us now. That bastard Maxon really screwed him up. The Brotherhood used to be the good guys. Well, good-ish. Those Brotherhood assholes are... Tough. I wonder if the name Brotherhood of Bigots was already taken. Ah, the Brotherhood. Elitism, power armor, xenophobia, and racial purging. What's not to like? Protecting people from themselves. The oldest excuse of any tyrant. Firepower and fervor. The Brotherhood has both in spades. The Brotherhood seems to rely real heavily on their chain of command. Wonder how long the links hold. Anyone with that much firepower plans on using it. No matter what they claim. Sure, the Brotherhood's a lesser evil, but that's still evil. Brotherhood sure knows how to take all the fun out of dressing in rivets and leather. I don't care how you feel about synths. No one gets to have the authority to wipe them all out. Brotherhood of Steel. Sounds like a video nasty. These soldiers pack some serious firepower. I want to leave them alone. Those armored suits look like fun. These guys are a bunch of military freaks playing soldier, if you ask me. Boys and their toys, ugh. True peace can only be achieved by superior firepower. I hope I live long enough to watch the Brotherhood take control of the Commonwealth. Look at our strength and our numbers. The Commonwealth is as good as ours. I would gladly die if it meant one of my brothers would live. Sir, I trust you won't let any Brotherhood fellows salvage me for spare parts. <laughs> yes? If only the Brotherhood cared for others as much as they cared for their technology. The Brotherhood? More like a gang of thugs, if you ask me. A more clever robot would bugger off whenever the Brotherhood were out and about. Tad on the obsessive side, the Brotherhood. Real type A personalities. The Brotherhood's technology is superb. This must be studied. How can the Brotherhood expand their knowledge if they do not share their findings with fellow academics? I wonder, can one such as myself join this Brotherhood of Steel? With their vertebrates, airship, and other accoutrements, the Brotherhood is what I expected of the outside world. The Brotherhood seems to have much knowledge they could share. Damn, Brotherhood. Why don't they go back where they came from? It's a shame. The Brotherhood of Steel could have really helped the Commonwealth. As if we didn't have enough problems without the damn Brotherhood making things worse. Selfish bastards. They don't care about anybody except themselves. The Brotherhood of Steel. Finally, a real challenge. These guys pack some heavy firepower but nothing good cover can't handle. If anyone poses a threat to the Institute, it's the Brotherhood. Without his armor, 
A Brotherhood soldier is nothing. Brotherhood soldiers tend to carry a lot of ammo. Maybe we can scavenge some. These humans hide in steel armor. Strong smash steel humans. Steel men are worthy warriors. Humans need steel armor to fight as good as strong. Steel men are hard outside, but soft inside. Yeah, they were people once, but trust me, their humanity vanished the moment they changed. Oh god, not these walking piles of flesh again. Oh good, ferals. Like shooting ghouls in a barrel. Can't believe these things move so fast. If too much radiation leads to looking like that, I think I'd rather die. Ferals sure make it easy to forget they were ever people. Lot of good-looking faces around here. You gonna introduce me? Wonder how close I came to going feral. Or maybe I did. Ghouls, huh? You looking to fix me up? Least raiders and mutants have the politeness to know when to die. More ferals. Great. Some jackasses call ferals ghouls. Like ghouls don't have enough problems. I avoid ferals if I can help it. Glory came up with the bright idea of putting ferals in the catacombs. Not a fan. Bet you craft your pants the first time you saw a feral. I know I did. If we're hunting Deathclaws, care to tag in Glory? Please? Another Deathclaw down and another of my nine lives burned. Yay! Deathclaws. Love them or leave them, they'll still tear your face off. Oh. Deathclaws. I do not like claws. Those fast, car-flipping... They just get to me. Sometimes you can still make out the person in there. First time I met a feral, I hoped it would ignore me because I wasn't made of meat. I guess they'll eat anything. Keep your distance. Ferals hit hard. Poor bastards. Wandered into College Square on my own once. Never seen so many ghouls in one place. Mayor McDonough chased all the ghouls out of Diamond City. I wonder if any of them ended up out here. Ghouls love to play peekaboo. Keep your eyes open. I don't have to outrun the ghouls, Blue. I just have to outrun you. Nasty cannibals. Wait, are ghouls cannibals? They, they don't eat each other, right? These things stopped being people a long time ago. Shamblers. I hate these wretched things. Best thing about killing a shambler is that dry sound they make when you snap off their limbs. Good. I've been itching to bust some shambler heads. Damn, these things reek. Ugh, oh, goddamn shamblers. Only thing they're good for is torsion. If it was up to me, I'd make it my life's work to wipe these things off the face of the planet. Extermination is the best these ferals deserve. The only thing ferals are good for is scraping the mud off my boots. Skinwalkers, ferals, shamblers, call them whatever you like, but they're not human. Ferals might have been human once, but now they're scavengers of human flesh. What irony that radiation heals the feral ghoul. Feral ghouls. A sorry lot indeed. To lose one's mind slowly like that? Uh, be wary of feral ghouls, sir. Huh? One off remember, the folly of man created these feral ghouls. I, I, I imagine the scent of feral ghouls is, is most unpleasant. Should ghouls be considered a new species? I wonder if my oath apply to ghouls as well. If you find any scientific journal articles on ghouls, I would be much obliged. I should give a ghoul a full physical. I am certain the data would be very interesting. Some ghouls are in possession of their mental faculties. Others are not. Why? The scariest thing about pharaohs is they used to be people like us. If I ever turn into one of these things, you have permission to put two in my skull. You can smell these pharaohs a mile away if you're downwind. When I was a kid, these things gave me nightmares. Ghouls. Without the Institute, they'd be the future of humanity. Careful, sir. Ghouls are quicker than they look. That smell. 
Should have brought a breath mask. Don't let the shambler surround you. If you ask me, sir, killing a ghoul isn't murder. It's more like mercy. Human, shoot ghouls. Don't let ghouls get close. Watch for glow. Ghouls with glow are bad. Ghoul flesh tastes bad. Worthless, glowy ghouls. Ghouls not worthy foes. Bad warriors. Oh, shut up! Had to be ferals. Sorry, pal. Anyone got some holy water? I always wanted to try that on them. Wait, these aren't fer- Oh no, definitely ferals. Sorry, folks, won't be chewing on us. Watch your digits, Blue! Ferals! Poor ghoul bastards. Come on, you rad spitting zombies! Exterminate them! Send them back to hell! Let's put these poor creatures out of their misery! A ghoul. Most intriguing. Starting recording. Detecting an increase in radiation. One must wonder what causes the deterioration of this ghoul condition. Monsieur Platt predicted this condition. It appears he was correct. Well, I met plenty of weirdos in my day, but these bozos are off the scale. If any of this makes sense to you, I don't even want to know about it. And talk about delusional. These freaks think that the Great War was a holy event. Don't even bother trying to talk to any of these psychopaths. Why the hell would you worship radiation? Makes no sense. Children of the Atom tried to recruit folks from Good Neighbor once. And only once. Hmm. Nice area. Plenty of rads. If it weren't for the nut jobs, this would be my kind of place. I'd keep your rad away handy round these folks. You know I like rads too, but you don't see me killing folks over them. Never was one for cults myself. Too organized for my taste. Why would anyone ever join the children? That's what I want to know. Capital Wasteland. Exports purified water, some decent tech. Oh, and an insane suicidal cult that worships radiation. Thanks, guys. I always feel unclean killing those Adam guys. That's probably just the radiation poisoning talking, though. Great. More children of Adam. All the comfy comforts of a cult without leaving your irradiated crater. Join the children of Adam. Probably safe to assume these folks were loony before the rads. Someone needs to put these children to bed. Hope you took your rad X. Never understood cults. I guess some folks just prefer being told what to do. Let's not linger, all right? I'm worried my teeth might start falling out. Worshipping the Atom doesn't seem so crazy when you realize what it's capable of. Wait, no, I hear it now. That did sound crazy. You got enough rat away to share? Poor brainwashed adults. Wish they'd listen to reason. If there were ever people more in need of the truth. Whoever this Atom guy is, he's a real arsehole. Better keep that rat away handy unless you want to start coughing up blood. Worshipping radiation. These knobs are a crazy lot. Don't even try and reason with these lunatics. Dying is all they need to understand. Keep that rat away at the ready. You're gonna need it. The children of Adam are nothing but a cult filled with low-life scum. Humans that worship radiation. I don't even know where to begin. Whoever this Adam is, I bet he's no match for the might of the Brotherhood. These children of Atom are terribly misguided. Right shame the loony bins have all closed down. My circuits are impervious to radiation. Feel free to stand behind me, sir. Hope you have rad away with you, sir. Children of Atom, they call themselves. What terrible blasphemy. These children, they are very odd, yes? So these children of Atom worship radiation? Would not the sun be a more appropriate focus for their adorations? I think these children should seek psychiatric attention. The children's willing exposure to radiation makes them fascinating specimens. Someone should tell the children about the dangers of radiation, I think. Those guys make raiders seem pleasant. I think those cultists are beyond reasoning with. 
They didn't seem to be in a talking mood. How do they get new members if they kill everyone they meet? Worshipping radiation? That's straight up crazy. Nothing I love more than airing out these deranged lunatics. <sighs> Hope you've got some meds for radiation poisoning. Why the hell anyone would worship radiation is beyond me. Spend too much time around these psychotics and your skin will fall off. There's not a shred of humanity left in these fanatics. All humans sound same when they die. These humans not have milk of human kindness. Strong kill these humans. Some humans like glow. A bug bite from these things will kill you. Gross, just gross. How the hell do these bugs end up so goddamn huge? Don't tell me you're afraid of a few bugs. I've seen these things lay their eggs in a sick deathclaw. Never felt bad for a deathclaw before. Nothing should have that many legs. Bugs this big where you come from? Like little machines that just breed and eat. Come to think of it, that don't sound half bad. Never guess it by looking at them, but these little buggers are tastier than they look. You know, if the little bug bastards just stood still, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Bugs, bugs, and more bugs. I hate those little bloodsuckers. What I'd give for an industrial-sized tub of bug be gone. Whatever egghead came up with the giant bugs should have been nuked. These things have mandibles, armor plating, and numbers. Makes you wonder how humanity managed to survive at all. I feel bad. Wasting the ammo. I'm not a fan of anything that has more legs than brain cells. Yeah, a nest of these things set up one summer in Diamond City's upper stands. <laughs> I don't think I've ever laughed so hard. Some of these things lay eggs in their hosts while they're still alive. Ugh. Why do they all have to be so ugly? Exoskeletons with appetites. I read pre-war scientists thought bugs would inherit the Earth. <laughs> At least they got one thing right. It true bugs weren't this big in your time? That must have been nice. I'm itching all over just thinking about these stupid bugs. I'm not planning on donating any blood to these bastards today. These beasties are making me skin crawl. Damn bugs. Disgusting. Blood-sucking insects. These bugs are disgusting. Squash these things with your weapon. Don't waste any ammunition. Proctor Quinlan said something called bug spray used to exist before the bombs fell. Wish we had some of that now. By Jove, can you imagine the size of the swatter you'd need to take on these insects? The wasteland bugging you? Ha-ha! <laughs> A little humor to lighten the spirits in heavy times, sir. I miss the regular-sized bugs, and those I could handle. Sir? We should be on the lookout for giant cans of bug spray. You know, to deal with giant insects. Ha-ha! <laughs> Though I am not an etymologist, these insects are a rich source of data. Ah, oh, if only the insects were less voracious, it would make them easier to study. Fear of insects was a common phobia pre-war. I think this fear is far more reasonable now. I wonder if insects were particularly susceptible to the environmental factors after the war. So many different species. The biomass of all insects of this world, how does it compare to the surviving human population? Gah! I hate those things. Those things just seem to get bigger and nastier every year. I once saw a blood bug fly off with a Brahmin, I swear to God. I hate wasting ammo on those things. These things are a damn nuisance. If you know where to hit them, these things go down quick. Bugs aren't as scary as they look. Aim for the soft parts. That's how you kill bugs. Don't want to let a bug get too close. That could hurt. Flying bugs hard to hit. Don't eat bugs. Taste awful. Smash all bugs. Strong like to squish bugs. Bug stings burn. Squash them. 
damn gnats! Pest control. I don't usually like bugs, but these guys? Kind of cute, right? Do we waste bullets on these guys or not? What I wouldn't give for some industrial strength pesticide. Farewell, little fly. You aren't sucking in any of my blood, you ugly bastards! Ugh! Bloat fly! Disgusting! The mutations in this bug are fascinating. We should preserve one of these for study. What a fascinating specimen. I wonder what its original species was. Seems like there's more of these things every year. Ugh! Nasty insect! Damn bloodsuckers! I don't want to exterminate a lot of species. Goddamn blood bugs. Keep them off me. Yeah, because you won't haunt my nightmares, you giant mosquito asshole. Filthy flying blood packs. Damn flying syringes. What I wouldn't give for the biggest rolled up newspaper. Anyone have a can of book spray? Pestilent maggot. Did this evolve from a mosquito? What a discovery, a mutated mosquito. Is this mosquito a product of the FEV or radiation? Squash it! Oh no, we ain't your dinner yet! Lousy bugs! Rad roaches, oh scary. This will be our finest hour. Tales shall be told of our fight versus the rad roaches. Someone call for exterminators? One less pest. Oh, nope. Just roaches. Thought we might be in danger. Come here, little guy. Blue, you got a bat or something? Rod roaches make me sick! Disgusting insect! Waste of ammo! Roaches! Try not to get any on your boots, sir! The roach is attacking! This species must have evolved from the common roach, Periplaneta Americana. Ah, just another roach. Watch the stinger! Wouldn't let that sting you, not even recreationally. That is one mad bug! Do not let the rad scorps close on you. These guys have a hell of a sting. I didn't think I could still get the willies. Nothing needs that many limbs. Keep an eye on that stinger! Skittering little shite! Come here! If we survive this rat scorpion, it simply must be autopsied. A scorpion of such size! What a find! We'll see how fast you are with a few less legs. Shoot it out of the sky! Anyone have a fly swatter? That thing stings you. No one's having a good time. So long, Stingwing. Flittery little bastards. You know, this would go a hell of a lot better if you just stood still. That is one mad bug. You watch yourself. Poison doesn't bother me. You hear a buzzing? Not for long, you don't. A lot easier to whack if you ground them. Ugh! They're gonna be spitting at us! Flying disease pool! Truly, the power of radiation is limitless. Look at this hornet. A giant hornet! Amazing! Ugh, I used to eat these things. Still can't get the taste out of my mouth. Don't even want to imagine what kind of diseases these are carrying. Mole rats will burrow right up under you if they have the chance. That smell is horrible. I think I'm gonna puke. Don't underestimate mole rats. I've seen them strip the flesh from a man's bones in a matter of minutes. Mole rats. About as dangerous as they are pretty. Watch your ankles around these things. Keep an eye on the ground. Little bastards like the burrow. Nearly lost some fingers to a mole rat once. They do not like to spoon. Pretty sure even you could handle these things on your own. You know, I've always wanted a pet mole rat. I'd call him Ziggy. I always feel a little bad shooting mole rats. Not bad enough not to eat them, though. Mole rat. The other, 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 other white meat. One mole rat is kind of cute. A swarm of them, though? That's trouble. When I retire, I want to be a mole rat farmer. That'd be the life. I heard these things taste as bad as they smell. 
ever coined the phrase mountains out of mole hills clearly never saw a mole rat den mole rats are quick little buggers aren't they seems everything that survived the bombs got bigger and madder watch your step probably walking over a mole rat warren as we speak rule one of mole rats never get between a brood mother and her anything just stay away from them wonder if there's a warren nearby Woo! one of these rats must be seriously ill nothing healthy should smell like that a mole rat's a pest a pack of them well that's just good eating during the thin years when the harvest didn't pan out finding a mole rat felt like a gift an angry smelly gift wish we could just step on these little bastards would save us some ammo mole rats gather all sorts of interest in things so it's worth poking through their den for loot phew yep it's mole rats all right mole rats disgusting little vermin if we bag a few of them, maybe we can have a little treat for dinner tonight. Ugly little creatures, aren't they? Mole rat stench is quite... pungent. Ugh, diseased filth. The thought of eating these things makes me sick. How can people stoop so low? I loathe wasting precious ammunition on these vermin. Watch out for holes, sir. Mole rats about. Wouldn't want to twist an ankle. Curious creatures, mole rats. Quite enamored with bits of shiny, the mole rat is. Occasionally they pilfer for something useful. Not your garden variety vermin. Nothing short of the saw or flame spout will do for mole rats, I'm afraid. Mole rats. Nothing more than two vicious vermin merged into one, I suppose. Mole rats exhibit pack behavior. These mole rats are little more than pests, yes? Mole rats are a curious species. Was the ancestor of the mole rat a mole or a rat? Does anyone know? Potentially, mole rat meat may be quite nutritious. An healthy diet requires a great deal of protein, after all. Watch where you step. Mole rats. I once lived on mole rat for two months. Almost turned me vegetarian. When these little buggers start tunneling, Watch your back. They're liable to pop out anywhere. These things will tear up a field of crops faster than you'd believe. You can always tell when mole rats are around. What a stink. Come on. Give me something real to fight. Mole rats. The scourge of the Commonwealth. At least they die easy enough. If these things were a little smaller, we could just step on them and save bullets. Damn mole rats get into everything out here. Time for some pest control. Strong smash, mole rats. Mole rats, worthless fighters. Strong here, humans say mole rats annoying. Strong agree. Strong not like mole rat tunnels. Puny little mole rats. Gonna mount you on a stick. Only room for one skinless freak round here. Hey, dinner delivered itself. Do we have to kill these guys? Burrow deep and run away, little buddies. Walking sacks of plague. Guess that makes us the rat traps. Watch it. Could be more burrow nearby. One rat kebab coming right up. Diseased vermin. Exterminating time. Pardon me. Is this what is called a dog? Surely these are near the bottom of the food pyramid. Taxonomy unknown. This little thing must be studied. I thought I smelled something. Hope you brought a mallet and a bib with you. Okay, I've officially lost my appetite for seafood. Some people eat Mirelurk meat, but I never got used to the taste. If there was ever a sign that nature's pissed at us, this is it. You're gonna need some high-velocity ammo if you want to punch through Mirelurk armor. Keep an eye out for burrows. Meyer lurks like their meals surprised. I saw a Meyer lurk spawning once. Can't eat shellfish to this day. You know what Meyer lurk shell doesn't protect against? Mines. Folks will pay good money for lurk meat. 
Never a fan myself. Everywhere there's water, there's damn lurks. Hit the lurks in their soft spot if you can. Then grab butter. Mmm. I would have paid 50 caps to be with you the first time you saw one of the crabs. Must have thought you walked into a B-movie. I hate lurks. Piercing their shell's a bitch, let me tell you. Because, you know, the world wasn't screwed enough, so sure, bring on the giant nearly indestructible crabs. That'll be good. Can we just steer clear of the Meyer lurks next time? They chew through my ammo. If you're really looking to tick off a Meyer lurk, fiddle with its eggs. And this is why I don't swim. Anywhere there's water, there's Meyer lurks. Phew. You can bet no one would eat these things if they had to smell them first. You see any burrows around? Meyer lurks usually like to scare the hell out of their prey before eating them. The secret to dealing with Meyer lurks? Mines. With the right spices, Mirelurk meat can taste just like an old shoe. You know what fact never fails to give me chills when it comes to Mirelurks? The world? 70% water. You can make a pretty penny selling Mirelurk eggs, so long as you're not too attached to your fingers. I wouldn't stick a toe in water for years because of these things. I've heard of getting crabs, but this is something entirely different. Try and hit the lurks in their soft spots. Don't waste your time shooting at their shell. Lurks are the main reason you won't catch me skinny dipping any time soon. All we need is some drawn butter and a squeeze of lemon. Then we'll be all set. Damn lurks. This whole place stinks like the sea. I wonder if the Brotherhood could adapt the Meyer Lurks carapace for use as armored plating. It's ludicrous to name their leaders kings and queens. Mirelurks are nothing but disorganized rabble. Mirelurks. What's next? Giant fish with sharp teeth? These creatures are one of the reasons why the Brotherhood travels by air and not by sea. Is it just me, or do you smell the ocean whenever these things are around? Keep a look out for Mirelurks, sir. Crab cakes for dinner, sir? Mirelurks. Horrible creatures. My lurks are no stroll along the beach, eh, sir? <laughs> when beset by my lurks, clock them in the squishy spots. Are my lurk claws a great delicacy? So their carapace did not protect their ancestors from mutation. The aquatic ecosystem is worthy of study. The my lurks role in this, I am sure, is quite fascinating. It stands to reason that aquatic animals would succumb to the ravages of radiation. I hypothesize that the initial cause of many animal mutations was mankind's research. The mylurk, for example. Mylurk meat is pretty tasty, if you don't mind the smell. Damn, I hate these things. Remember, you just waste an ammo shooting at a lurk shell. The soft underbelly is what you want to aim for. I hope you like seafood. Keep an eye out. Lurks could be hiding anywhere around here. Meyer lurk shells are hard as a rock. Aim for the eyes or between the plates. We're going to smell like seafood for a week. I've seen a Meyer lurk crush a cement block like it was nothing. You want to keep a Meyer lurk at range, sir. Fire, fall back, and repeat. Meyer lurks are slower on land. That's where you want to fight them. Meyer lurks smell fishy. Strong hate fishy. Smash Mirelurk face, its softest part. Mirelurk smell bad but taste good. Strong smash Mirelurks. Shoot for its head. Come on, handsome, show me that face. Aim for the eyes. Great, how many clips is it going to take to kill those things? Time for crab cakes. Watch it. Lurks on the loose. Don't fire till you see the whites of their eye stalks. If you like your limbs, I'd keep my distance. Crab faced! We must defeat these Meyer lurks for science. Tissue samples may provide theories as to these Meyer lurks' genesis. These Meyer lurks, they were not in the old world, right? Even the crabs have mutated. Their carapace provided no resistance. 
Time for some regicide! So long, your majesty. I'm your king now! Oh, no. It's a big one. Just once, I want radiation to turn something into a giant fluffy bunny, instead of the grand poobah of all Myrlurks. Hell! There's a new king in town. Careful, these kings like to serenade their supper. So long, your highness! Holy shite! Look at the size of that beast! King, huh? We'll see about that! The Myrlar Queen must play a vital role in the reproductive cycle. Though the medical data is potentially significant, I recommend we avoid this. Damn! Look at the size of that thing! Seen bullets glance right off a Deathclaw's hide before. Better load up with the heavy stuff. Nothing turns your shorts brown faster than a Deathclaw charging at you. We need to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. If Deathclaws are mutated Jackson's chameleons, how the heck did they get so big? We're doing a bit of big game hunting now, huh? Long as these things are out here, folks will never be safe outside the settlements. Or in them, for that matter. Bunch of bad-tempered museum exhibits. Ten feet of muscle and rage. Death claws make everything else look like children's toys. I knew a couple of guys who thought they could make caps looting a death claw nest. Emphasis on new. These things are mutated lizards, right? Just on luck they didn't stay vegetarians. I knew a trader who dealt solely in Deathclaw goods. Clothes, weapons, jewelry. I come to think of it, I haven't seen Roger in a... Oh. Makes you wonder how people ever made it past day one with these things running amok out here. It'd probably take the Brotherhood, Institute, and Divine Intervention to clear these things from the Commonwealth. Don't usually get to see Deathclaws this close. Wouldn't mind this being the last time, either. Not to go all writer, but seriously? Death claws? What, was pointy lizard taken? I'd love to mount a death claw head on me wall. If I had a wall. You wanna take some death claws down? I'm game. I've tangled with these things before. Earned a few scars, but walked away with a fortune in claws. Watch it. These beasts mean business. I've seen death claws chew through raiders like paper. Not a pretty sight. Did you know Elder Maxon took a death claw out with nothing but a combat knife? And he has the scar to prove it. We shouldn't stick around here too long. No telling how many death claws call this their home. My advice for hunting a death claw. Return to base and forget about it. You'll live longer. Don't underestimate the death claw. I've seen one tear open power armor like it was a tin can. Aim for the Death Claw's legs to slow them down. It might give you a chance to survive. D do be careful, sir. Death Claws aren't known for their docile nature. <laughs> no. I don't mind saying it, sir. Death Claws give me a bad case of collie wobbles. Perhaps we best hoof it, sir, lest we run into more Death Claws. Myrlurks and Drad Scorpion, sure, but. What father the death claw? Iguanas? Sir, sir, I'm, I, I'm not sure we're safe here. In this biosphere, I believe humans are not the apex predator. The death claw. I believe he sits at the top. I would prefer we avoid death claws. If I am destroyed, there is no more science that can be done. Are death claws always violent? Perhaps play some music for them, or poetry. We should maintain vital statistics of the people. For causes of death, I think death claw related injuries must be high on that list. I find no records of these death claws. They are new to this world, yes? I'd be okay if that was the last death claw I ever saw.
Those things are the worst menace in the Commonwealth. Holy hell. I can't believe we got out of there alive. I'm just glad we're both still standing. I don't mind admitting, I'm still a little shaky. Deathclaw armor's thick. Gotta have something strong to punch through it. You'll want to stay clear of those claws, sir. Deathclaw, shit. This is a Class A threat. Hope you're ready for a fight, because a Deathclaw always is. Best way to fight a Deathclaw is to flank it. Sometimes they get confused. Need many brothers to hunt Deathclaws. Deathclaws fast. Deathclaws strong. Deathclaws hard. Only great warriors can kill Deathclaws. Must keep moving to kill Deathclaw. Circle and circle and circle. Deathclaws. Worthy foes. Kill it like you mean it! Gonna rip those claws off you with my bare hands! If you were saving any explosives, now be the time! Ah, Deathclaw. Don't let it get close. Pop a stealth boy if you got one. That's one ticked off dino. Shouldn't you be extinct? No, 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 here it comes! We pick and fight over flight? Okay. Deathclaw! Condition red! The taxonomy of this is most intriguing. The threat assessment is most dire. My memory has no idea what this thing is. Intriguing. I must have a sample of this, preferably once it is quite dead. Aim for the legs. We've got to slow that thing down. These things are disgusting. You damn freak. Rad stag stew coming up. Watch those antlers, all of them. Big game hunting, Commonwealth style. Don't underestimate these guys. These ain't your old world bucks. Watch for the charge. Get behind it if you can. It saw us. Try to get behind it. Gonna mount your head on me wall. An extra head? Are you kidding me? That is a terribly disgusting beast. I could go for some venison. Watch it. Yao Guai hit hard. So long, big guy. Big targets, little brains. Guess this furball doesn't want to be friends. You're going down, Yao Gi. Yao Gi. You guys, whatever you are, you're going down. These bastards are vicious. How can something that sickly move that quick? Bring it, furball! I think it sees us! Shall we get you a new rug, sir? Radiation has mutated this bear into something fascinating and deadly. Come here, you mutt. Keep the dogs off me. Time to put the bitch down. Get it? Because it's a dog. Damn mutts. Play dead. Naughty, naughty. Bad. Bad dog. The little doggy is dangerous now. Dogs are also vulnerable to radiation-induced mutation.